Hey guys, it's Adam here with another quick tip for Forger. So today what I want to look at is how um, I made some of these little accessories like these wrappings here, like the things like the belt. Um, and what I want to do is show you how you can make them and make them super clean uh, topo so that it doesn't slow down your Forger scene. Um, because obviously the more detail we can add, the more the process we can do in Forger, um, the more of a useful tool it becomes. So what I'm going to do today is make a sort of little wrap and bandage that goes around his arm. So I'm going to start by just selecting that body mesh so I can just double click on it with my finger. You can see it says selected body one. And we're going to scroll down and we're going to hit the mask button. And I'm just going to very quickly mask out a sort of helix uh, shape on his forearm. Now, if you're like me and your stuff's getting in the way here, what you can do is go to your display settings and you can hit on the unselected setting, you can hit the dotted outline and what that'll do is just show selected and so that means that I can very quickly just paint the area I want without all the clothes and all the other bits getting in the way. So this isn't going to be super um, tidy, it's going to be pretty pretty basic. I'm going to keep it, it can be pretty free with this because I know I'm going to alter this later. Right, so I've made this nice little helix shape that's going to form my, my wrap or my bandage. I can turn everything else back on. And now I'm going to go back to my settings for the body and I'm going to hit this sort of two-way arrow split that's in blue at the bottom and I'm going to hit extract mask with thickness. And in this case I think I'll set it to about 0.05-ish, doesn't have to be exact. And I hit OK. Now what it's done is it's quickly extracted from that mask with a thickness of 0.05 this shape here. So um, what I can do now is I can move that around and I can start to make my sort of clothy bandagey thing. I can hit the smooth button and I can try and oh god, I can try and um, smooth out some of this bumpiness. And what's happening here? Let's go isolate this again. And this time let's turn on wireframe is that I've not got a lot to play with on the thickness. There's no real subdivisions there. You can see it's very, it's really just one poly thick. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn wireframe off and I'm very quickly, I'm just gonna run a quick remesh. So I'll turn this up to something like 200 and hit remesh. This will take a minute or two, shouldn't take too long. And hopefully this will give me more to play with. So now if I turn wireframe back on, you can see although it's less neat, I've got more to play with. But that's okay, because all I'm really looking to do right now is just smooth out some of the lumpiness. So I'm gonna hold down my smooth brush and, and I'm just going to get rid of some of that, which is working a treat. And if I wanted to use something like flatten, if I was doing like a, a proper like iron collar, or something like that, you could use that to sort of smooth out to uh, flatten down those edges. It's a little time consuming. Um, let's turn everything else back on for a second. Um, let's go back to move. And again, I can move some of these bandages around, make it look more like he's wrapped them randomly around his arm. It always seems to be the case with this medieval style clothing. But once you're down with something, you've, you've got to a point where you like what you've got. Um, what I can do is the really clever part. So what we're going to do is we're going to use, um, we're going to use Forger's new uh, remesher um, brush. So if you scroll down to the bottom and we hit remesh, you've got the options up in the top left corner. We'll hit that. And for now, I'm just going to use run this as the default settings have it. So I'm going to hit remesh and it asks you to save. And the reason it does that is because um, it's not um, sure. It, sometimes this can crash, you know, it's, it's a new feature and it's trying to make sure you don't lose your work. So they've added a built-in auto save. So we're gonna hit save. And as soon as you hit that, it's basically gonna run. So we're gonna give it a moment. And then here we go, here's the wheel. Um, and so again, it's a process much like the, um, uh, you know, re, um, the remesh button that takes a little while, now it's run, it's finished. Now look straight away, you'll notice that mesh looks a lot smoother. So we're gonna go down to isolator, 
turn on wireframe and look what it's done to the topology. Super clean, ready to use. Okay, really now, of course, it is so um, easy to move stuff around and change it. You could cut into this, you could go onto the actual hard surface modeling tools. It makes it a much easier geometry to work with and adapt, and it, it's not going to crash forger or cause any memory lapses. So um, very, very useful tool. Let's go back to the whole thing. And we'll turn, look at the wireframe difference between my sculpted surface and that bit of geometry. And again, if I was now to sculpt into that, I could just subdivide it, super clean, easy to work with. So let's turn wireframe off. And last thing I'm gonna do is you see that mask we've got on the body. We're just gonna select the body. We're gonna to go to our mask settings and we're gonna hit clear and away that goes. So there you go. Nice, quick and easy way to make extra geometry accessories, details, um, using uh, extract mask with thickness and then running the new remesher tool. So hope that's useful. I hope you guys enjoyed that tip and check back here for more soon.